faced with peaceful protests against the Citizenship Amendment Act, the Assam Cabinet on Saturday took a number of decisions that the government has claimed are part of its vision to ensure all-round development in the state of Assam. However, critics have termed these um, these steps as nothing more than knee-jerk reactions that are aimed at appeasing agitators. Now, the foremost decision which was announced by Cabinet Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma was to bring a legislation to ensure that land rights are reserved for the indigenous people of the state. Now, once this is implemented, then only people who are from Assam can buy or sell land in the state. Now, let's try and get you an update from Ratnadeep Chaudhary, who joins us from Guwahati. Ratnadeep, what is the latest from the ground? I have a couple of more questions. So, one is what is happening on the ground? Are there protests? Are there peaceful protests? What about any internet shutdowns? Any, any information on that? Also, how are these new land rules being perceived in the state? Ruby, let me first tell you in terms of what is happening at Ground Zero. There uh, is no major protest today. Uh, uh, there would be again a series of protests uh, next week uh, by the protesting groups. Uh, also, there is uh, the internet is back, uh, so uh, normal life is uh, back on track in Assam. And uh, the peaceful protest, as you see, uh, has been uh, continuing for actually o over a month now because Assam is the first state from where this anti-citizenship uh, act protest has started and uh, now it has viraled across the country. Uh, so, you know, the protesting group says that they would keep uh, doing their peaceful protests until unless uh, their demand is met, uh, met, which is scrapping of uh, this controversial act. So that's uh, what is in terms of protest. Now, let us come to this, uh, you know, decision of the Assam government. Now, the Assam cabinet uh, has decided that they will pass a legislation which would ensure uh, that the land rights remains with the indigenous people. So what would be that, uh, you know, legislation? Details are not available because only decision has been made. Now they will frame, frame the rules. Uh, it has to be <coughs> brought into the state cabinet. Again, the state cabinet gives its approval to be placed in the uh, assembly, and then only it will become law. But what uh, categorically Himanta Bishwa Sharma, the Assam cabinet minister, has told us last evening in a press conference that uh, now, land selling and buying, selling of and uh, selling and buying of land can only take place between indigenous people. Uh, so, uh, somebody who is non-indigenous uh, uh, to Assam will not be able to do it. Now, already in Assam, you have the hill districts and uh, the uh, borderland region where you have the you know autonomous councils where land rights uh, are with the uh, tribal people. Uh, but rest of Assam, there was a, uh, anybody could go and buy land. So that is not going to take uh, happen any further. But there needs to be more clarity in terms of what kind of land, whether uh, all sorts of land like agricultural land, commercial land, and for residential uh, purposes. So these are the contours which will be clear in the days to come when the government actually comes up with more details. Right at this moment, they have uh, taken this, uh, this decision. Uh, also, they have taken the decision of making ASM is a compulsory language in all the uh, schools in the state uh, till class 10. ASM is, uh, they will also urge center to actually amend the Article 345 to make ASM is the state language, barring the Borak Valley region, which are dominated by Bengali people, the borderland region and the hill districts uh, where there are, uh, you know, uh, their own uh, languages uh, as the primary language. So, uh, but this decision again is something which is which a lot of people say is a you know old wine in new bottle because Assam Assamese is already uh, the state language of Assam and uh, there have been in past legislation passed by the uh, state assembly so it seems what the state government now wants to do is to make a constitutional amendment and make sure that there cannot be any further change to the status of Assamese language as the state language so that is one move that the right. state government has uh, you know, uh, you know, is is uh, ready to pursue now through this cabinet decision.